Rachel? What? What's wrong? Nothing. Okay. How do you feel? I don't know how I feel. Oh, I know how I feel. Do you? I just find this confusing, Frank. And this feels very right to me. I'm sure it does to you. Uh, what do you think I do, go around collecting women? <laughs> but you're an attractive man. I'm sure you've had relationships. Oh, where do you think I've been, under a rock? No. <laughs> hey, I mean, that's all past history now. Look, ever since I saw you that first day in the gallery, I've had a very special feeling about you. And I like what's happening between us. I just wish you'd tell me what's bothering you. Mac is the only person I've been with since I've been married. Well, that doesn't surprise me. Doesn't it? No, I gather you loved him very much. I do. I'm sorry. That's okay. There have only been two men in my life that have ever mattered to me. Who besides Mac? It's not important. Rachel, look, you've been through a very trying time. And it's very hard to end a relationship where there was love. But that does not mean that you can't have another relationship. I just don't want to give you the appearance of leading you on, Frank. Is that what you think you're doing? Rachel, you have nothing to be frightened of with me. I'm not... Excuse me, Mrs. Corre, but the Countess de Poulignac is here to see you. Oh, how long has she been here? About five or ten minutes. Excuse me, Frank. Yeah, why don't you go ahead? I'll uh, water the horses for you and okay. get back to work. Okay. Thank you for a lovely afternoon. That's all right. Listen, I hope you didn't cut short your writing because of me. No, I'm finished. Uh, Brooks, have you offered the Countess anything? Yes, madam, but she declined all refreshment. Oh. Would you like something? No, thank you. You can go. Thank you. Come sit down. It's nice to see you. Yes, it's nice to see you. It's a bit pleasanter than our last meeting. Have, has the uh, insurance people uh, reimbursed you for that piece of sculpture that's Sally just Yes, they said they're going to send the check. I'm uh, going to bring some sketches over to you later in the week. Yes, I know. Brooke said you've been spending more time in your oh, studio. Oh, my work has been going so well. I am so glad. And thank you for all your patience. I haven't produced anything in so long. Oh, that's all right. Quentin and I understood. Yeah, well, any other dealer would have given up on me, I'm sure. I doubt that. But, Elena, you will have to uh, let me postpone my fall exhibit with you. Yeah, that's all right. We may have to postpone that exhibit entirely. Well, if you want to put some other exhibits in before mine, it's I don't It's not that. Is something wrong at the gallery? Uh, yes, um, I'm not going to be there for a while. Well, yes, you told me that you were you were uh, shutting everything down in August. I'm going to Europe. Paris? Uh, maybe. Saint Maxime, for sure. Uh, the Riviera? Yeah, we have a villa there. We? Oui. The Counts. It was his. We oh. spent his last summer there together. Well, won't it be overrun with tourists? No, or? I don't think so. They're usually more over the bay in uh, Saint Tropez. Well, it sounds like a lovely idea. Yeah, I think it'll be nice. I may actually extend it beyond August. You taking Dennis? You not? I, I think it's best he stays in Bay City. What's going on with you two? <sighs> Nothing. Oh, come on, Elena. I know you too well for that. Dennis and I have decided to end our relationship. Whose decision was that? He's fallen in love with someone else. Who? Cecile. Your stepdaughter? Mm. Did she know about your relationship with Dennis? We tried to keep it from her, but she found out accidentally a few days ago. I'm sorry. Well, it's probably for the best. They're the same age. They have more in common. But you love him. Yes, I do. But I can't go on loving somebody who doesn't love me. Oh, well, Lena. And knowing you, you probably gave him your blessing. It really was inevitable. Doesn't make it less painful. All right. I've, I've tried so hard to be sensible, practical. I know what you're going through. It's tearing me apart. <laughs> Go get it! 
<laughs> what do you think, Bertie? Oh, I think she really likes her new tie, I know, Chip. You know, next year I think I'll get a tiny little moped. Oh, Mr. Corey, you're teasing me. Yes, I'm teasing. <laughs> well, perhaps we should take Bear and Tricycle out onto the terrace. What for? She's having a lot of fun with it in here. Well, if Amanda bangs into the furniture too often, she'll ruin it. Well, then we'll just have to replace the furniture, won't we, my sweetheart? Yes, oh, we'll get some more furniture. Terrace probably isn't a very good idea anyway. Why not? It's certainly big enough. Well, she could fall and yes. break something and hurt herself. Now, Louise, you know, we mustn't be too protective. Otherwise, she won't ever have any fun doing anything. Yeah, I suppose you're right. After all, all little children have got to have some cuts and some scratches from time to time. That's part of growing up. Yes, I'm right thinking the more of broken bones. Oh, please, let's not be that pessimistic. I prefer to think I'm just being careful. All right, you be careful. We just don't want to instill her with any fear, though. Otherwise, you'll be too hesitant about trying new things. I know. Why not you doll? OK, put it right huh? in there. <laughs> yes. Huh? Uh -huh. There we are. Yes. You know, I've got an idea. What? Maybe you ought to call the garden center and get some new plant containers, the kind that hang up. Whatever for? Well, you've got your plants and herbs situated all around the grounds. Mm. And it's very possible that with a new tricycle, Amanda is going to encounter some in her travels. <laughs> yes, that is quite possible. <laughs> You're quite right to be concerned about her safety, but I think your plants are in infinitely more danger. How did you happen to buy the tricycle in the first place? Well, I was out in the park, and I saw all these kids there on their bicycles, and I remember the first bike I got and how thrilled I was. Well, I think Amanda's going to be thrilled with hers. Yes. I did have some reservations about it, though. Why? Well, I thought maybe she was too young for it, but I don't think so. Amanda's... she went for it. Yes, Amanda's precocious in most things. Now she's going to put clown on tricycle. <laughs> don't hurt the poor clown. Mm. Yes, she... Do you know she recognizes everybody? <laughs> All yes. right, come right over here. You have to come get it. If you want something in this life, you have to come get it. But don't hit the point. And she knows where to put up her toys and her blocks already. Mm -hmm. And I think if she had her way, she'd feed herself every day. Oh, no. Yes, yes, Mr. Corey. You, have you heard all the words that I've heard when she's been with me? Say something to Daddy. Uh, hey, honey, tell me all about how your day was. All right. Put the, <laughs> put the bear on the oh, bike. Yeah. Put the yeah. bear on the bicycle. Can we put him on the... Yes. Yeah. All right, Joe. Oh. Oh. Louise, if uh, Mr. Corey is through with his visit with Amanda, you can take her upstairs for a nap. Right. Well, I don't think she wants to leave her oh, tricycle. Oh, wait, wait, wait. Oh. Don't just give me well, the bear. We'll take the bear. All right. Take Here bear. we go, we've got bear. bear, we've got Take bear. clown, can you take oh, clown Oh, yes, I can take clown okay. and bear and just don't let bye, me trip darling. over any of the blocks. Give me a kiss goodbye. All right. Hey, hey. Daddy? Bye-bye. All right. That's a Not bad. Bye-bye. Yes. Oh, yes. now yes. she wants yes. Daddy, now yes. she... Yes. Oh, take it. Yes. yes. Okay. Bye-bye. I'll oh, see you in a little while. Bye-bye. Bye-bye, sweetheart. Well, Louise said you were upstairs. Yes, I was. Working in the studio? Yes. How's the sculpture coming? Okay. Just okay? Well, I've had a lot on my mind lately. Well, I'm sorry if our troubles have kept you from sculpting. Are you? Of course I am. Were you going to come down and say hello at least? Louise didn't tell me you were here. Would you have stayed upstairs if she'd told you that? I thought you were uh, going to see Amanda at your hotel suite today. That's right, I was. Well, what are you doing here? Well, I wanted Louise to to see the uh, new toy and see her with it. Don't you think it's a little premature to give a child that age a tricycle? Should I have consulted you before I got it? Well, it's a little late to worry about that. Well, I guess I got carried away when I saw all these kids in the park riding their bikes. Well, you know how I feel about you spoiling Amanda. I haven't given her anything since I was here a month ago. Look, I'll, I'll take the, I'll take the.